New year, new jersey, new colors, new name. But same old RCB. Why always RCB? It's a question as old as IPL time, so the Cricket for Run Order crew, a lot of whom have featured in the IPL right from the start. Tom Moody, whose Sunrisers were responsible for denting RCB's closest bid to changing that narrative in 2016. Mitch McLennigan, who often dented RCB by getting Kohli out every other game he played against them. Ronak Kapoor and George Binoy, who have spent so many meetings discussing the same topic. So guys, this is just another Zoom call. Who wants to start us off? I, I think Ronak should, because he's the one that's the most vocal at the moment. I haven't said a word. <laughs> I'll, I'll kick it off. I think um, there's a number of layers to this. Um, firstly, uh, their design of their squad historically has been very batting heavy. Uh, you have to go right back to your, your A.B. de Villiers, to Chris Gales, obviously Verrett Coley has been a constant throughout. And that theme seems to have remained uh, in their approach. I believe a couple of years ago they tried to change that yes. at the mega auction when they, pitched, uh, when they purchased uh, Hazelwood and Hussaranga. Uh, but they didn't persevere with that, clearly, because they lost patience with uh, Hussaranga after you know one or two seasons, um, and which was puzzling to, to all of us. Um, and secondly, with Hazelwood's unavailability, uh, unavailability this year and injury the previous year, it slightly got derailed. So there, there, you know, there has been an attempt, but it has sort of gone sidewards. I'd pick up exactly from there. Thanks, Tom. That was perfect. Okay. The yeah. reason I say that is that we should be careful to not slam RCB with the same problem for, say, a lot of years, because like Tom says, two years they changed it up and they made the playoffs in 21 and 22. Yes, 21 was a tough season with the IPL split up and 22 was a unique season with the entire tournament in Mumbai. But they made the balance two batters and two overseas bowlers. That's the overseas balance, right? Hazelwood and Asaranga were terrific in the season they had in Mumbai. And then when they moved to the Chinnaswamy, there's this air that is that, oh, Hasaranga was not effective at the Chinnaswamy. So they've made an assessment after eight games in one home season that Hasaranga doesn't make it. Yeah. I thought the logic of sending Hasaranga back to the auction was we'll get him back cheaper. They didn't even want him for more than 1.5 crore. Mm. They don't need to worry about the heir to A.B. de Villiers or the heir to Faf Duplessy, who is Glenn Maxwell and who may be Cam Green. They needed the heir to Uzvendra Chahil. They got it in Hasaranga and now after that, they have come to this IPL saying, we don't need a risk winner, which is baffling. Their selections in the auction shifted towards having two overseas bowlers, uh, so two overseas seamers, and they think that that's going to be more effective at home. Uh, unfortunately, the spanner in the works was that late trade Cameron with Green, yeah. RCB with Cam Green. And, and there's one rule that, is, that always happens in the IPL, and it's that when you get a big money player, they play. So what they've tried to do at the start of the year is try and fit Alzari Joseph in, uh, first and foremost, when Reese Topley and Lockie Ferguson probably were better options. Um, and they've gone with Cam Green. Yeah. Okay, so all of a sudden, the plans pre that trade, 100%. playing two overseas mm. seamers went and out. building your side around that went out the window. If they thought that was a good trade, and you could argue both ways, because uh, Cam Green had a you know, breakout year with Mumbai, batting at three, mm. but they traded him as a specialist number five because that's the role they wanted him to play. He's never played that before. Mm. So that, again, the logic around that is, is hard to fathom. Um, but if they're going to have that trade, surely you would have squeezed Mumbai Indians and tried to get one of their domestic left-handers. Absolutely. So uh, Wadera or Tilak Vama. Yeah. The, one of those two had to come with that trade. Otherwise, us to be, we're not budging. Yeah. So the thing here is, like we've spoken a lot about their bowling, but this season the spotlight has all been on the, their batting failures because their overseas players haven't delivered as promised. Between Kohli, Faf, Maxwell, Green and Alzari, that's 62 crore out of their 95 crore purse, yeah. which automatically means the amount you've had the power to go for other players was reduced and that reflects in just that squad depth. The minute they got Cam Green in at 17.5, they went from going into the auction with 40 crore, with the most purse, amount of money in the purse, to 23 crore. Yeah. They could have gone and got Pat Cummins, who's actually started very well for yeah. SRH, who's become a different bowler. They could have got Stark. In the end, they lost. They went panicky for Cummins. They didn't get it. 
and then they went with Alzari. It was just a chaotic auction. Uh, looking forward to the next auction, uh, depending on how many players you can retain, Cam Green might be one of those yeah. top order retentions if you're not going to keep uh, a FAF to super C. Yeah. So that might be in their thinking when they're long term, that he might be a lock for them uh, in the next few years. I think a lot of teams make the mistake of thinking that you've got the batting to always chase down the runs to win the game. And Tom, you've alluded to numerous times on the show about defence winning new uh, competitions. It's like in most sports, defence wins finals, it wins competitions. And even when Mumbai won our championships, quite often it was the bowlers defending yep. lower scores. Um, you know, and then if the batters score the runs, then you've got the bowling line up to be able to defend it regardless. But w uh, bowling, your core bowlers win a competition. I'm sure RCB fans feel right now is where, what is their player development? So the exception to doing what Mumbai Indians did last year, when they didn't have Bumrah, and they said, you know what, let's just bat and we'll find a way. They have from one to seven a really strong Indian core that can bat the way you want an IPL batting heavy side to bat. Here, you don't have that. And the players that you built over the last few years, you've shown very little faith in. I mean, we still can't get why Lomroar isn't a sure starter, why uh, you know players like Suresh Prabhu Desai have not sort of been persisted with. A good illustration of that is, you know, the second highest Indian run scorer for RCB is still Rahul Ravid. All these years <laughs> later, wow. behind Virat Kohli. Yeah, and just yeah? to back up Mitch's point from later, when you look at bowlers, all these years, all these mega auction cycles, RCB have only ever retained one bowler, which was Siraj yeah. in the last cycle. Yeah. Let go of Chehel in the cycle before that, let go of Dale Stain all those years ago. They've just never gone to bowling, but just looking ahead, if you were in 2025 and RCB were planning a rebuild, what needs to change? My view would be just hold back on on the recruitment of your batters first and lock in your, your defence and your attack of 120 balls with your bowling attack. So both from an overseas perspective and a domestic uh, perspective, that's where my focus would be. And then the second cycle would be, right, OK, let's focus on what do we need to complement that from an overseas standpoint. They have to get a quality wrist spinner back. With the form that Glenn Maxwell's in, I think you just want to slot him down the bottom of the order. I know that's not his preferred position. I know he, he takes on spin and between 7 and 15 exceptionally well. But at the moment, what they need is some insurance at the end mm -hmm. of the innings. So any of those batters who are coming in know that they can still go at a good strike rate because they've got Glenn Maxwell behind them. Yeah. If Glenn Maxwell gets out early, then that affects the mindset and the psyche of the other experienced batsmen at the other end thinking that they need to bat to the 18th, 19th before they go. Some of the moves, they, some of the calls they're making this season just don't add up with Lomroar in and out, with Rawat in and out, with Saurav Chauhan out of nowhere, with Patidar finding no love mm. in the batting order. Mm. They need to find some clarity with the resources they have. No worry. Now that we've done all this dissection, surely RCB turn around their season, make the playoffs and then all of you can come at us in the comments section. This was ESPN Trick and Four Unordered. <laughs>